what is a contingency table in statistics? If you're working with data and trying to understand how different categories relate to each other, you might have come across the term contingency table. So what exactly is a contingency table and how can it help you analyze your data? A contingency table is essentially a way to organize and visualize data when you have two or more categorical variables. Imagine you're conducting a survey to see how people's favorite ice cream flavors differ between boys and girls. A contingency table would help you see these relationships clearly. Let's break it down. A contingency table is a matrix with rows and columns, each representing a different categorical variable. For example, if you're looking at the relationship between gender, male or female, and favorite ice cream flavor, let's say chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla, the rows could represent the genders and the columns could represent the ice cream flavors. Each cell in the table shows the frequency or count of how many people fall into each combination of categories. So you might see that 20 boys prefer chocolate ice cream, 15 girls prefer strawberry, and so on. The table also includes total counts for each row and column, which helps in calculating percentages and probabilities. These tables are not limited to just two variables. You can have three-way or even more complex contingency tables if you need to analyze additional variables such as age groups or other categories. One of the key uses of contingency tables is to determine if there is a significant relationship between the variables. This is often done using a chi-square test. The chi-square test compares the observed frequencies in the contingency table with the expected frequencies if there were no relationship between the variables. If the results show a significant difference, it indicates that there is a relationship between the variables. For instance, if you're analyzing whether customers' future buying patterns are related to their experience with a product, you would create a contingency table showing the frequencies of different customer experiences and their corresponding buying patterns. Then you would use a chi-square test to see if there is a statistically significant relationship. Creating a contingency table involves several steps. First, you pick the two survey questions or variables you want to compare. Then, you count how many times each combination of these variables occurs. This can be done manually or using spreadsheet software like Google Sheets or Excel, which often have built-in features to help you create these tables. In summary, a contingency table is a powerful tool in statistics that helps you visualize and analyze the relationships between categorical variables. By organizing data into a clear and structured format, you can easily see how different categories overlap and use statistical tests to determine if these relationships are significant. Whether you're analyzing survey data, customer behavior, or any other type of categorical data, contingency tables are an essential tool to have in your statistical toolkit.